ซาเซตานงวะทีนงโกชาโลอะไลนดูอะพานนงโกนอตัวเตียมั่วจอกูตุจอญาโตแคลิฟอร์เนียซิรีญาโฮเฟสิโนนงนอเฉดเตัวม
courthouse of Fresno County. Atua Disipol, Atua Voice Our Opinion, Atua Tuta Dachina, the President Trump of Dubai, the Poet. They, we can learn from Manu Vi, we can learn from Ngayon lang sa pagkatutunan sa akin ng Tatena, pagkatutunan siya. Tatena, kaya niya si Yamua, ilu, wala yung kambali na, ilu protest ka na, ilu leading. At sa pagkatutunan siya po, kaya niya ba, 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 Sure, they are doing uh, uh, communication to letters to their channel. They can call, they can talk out. However, today, myself, we're doing a ปะวะฮอลิโตดาเซเอมิชลีอาวาฮอเตอร์อ่าวันนั้นเราดีอ่าเจ้าอินเดียเซียเรดี้อ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ
พราะนายดีจะหลายที่มีโอกาสมามานี่ก็อยากขอให้ทุกคนเขาต้องจับมือกันเนาะจับมือกันแล้วต่อต้านแล้วต่อสู้เพื่อเขาทุกคนจะได้มีเสียงโซเฮาบได้ถึกในประเทศกับประเทศโซขอเข้าใจ Thank you Next we going to Give some time for our community leaders. Um, I know that there are, uh, some of us are here. Is there anyone willing to and have time that can come speak to our media and our community a little bit? Brenda. Good afternoon. My name is Brandon Bang. I'm the trustee representing San Diego Unified School District. And I will be speaking in my mother tongue first, and then I will transition into English. Inu sa tope ya kita ni cakap tu kita ni cakap lah, ni aku Fresno County mana? Vihaya, lata ban Trump, da, blolia, shita, ayu jalu, ada yang blolia kacai, blok pada chip buat tu nai naje, leya sa, jauh tu jangan sai mung. เราจะต้องจำสัมพลอดทำเจอหลอดเทียอย่าไปเรียนเด้อไปคอมมูนิตี้เราไปไปเซ็งมองเต็มหลอดหนูหนอเทลิตัวโอ้ตัวเจอเ
human rights relations in the world. Today, the Hmong and Lao communities are here to urge our senators, our congressmen, and our elected officials to strongly, strongly condemn the Trump administration's policy to forcibly remove these refugees back to Laos because Hmong and Lao lives matter. Hmong and Lao lives do matter in this age here in the United States of America. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Zane. Next, I would like to uh, invite a community of leaders who is a uh, very active uh, forefront person that's the younger generation of our Hmong in this community, Mr. Uh, Bobby Bietu. My name is Bobby Bliet. I'm from the Hmong Tao clan, the Tao clan. And it is a sad reason why we are here today. But our community has fought tooth and nail to be here. And I want to have a round of applause for our veterans that are here present today to give respect to what they did for all of us to be here. You see, General Vang Pao, through a deal from a handshake, not a memorandum of understanding, nothing in writing, but through a handshake, heart to heart, had a deal that we would have freedom, that the Hmong people, the Lao people, all those that fought by the sides of American soldiers to save American soldiers would have the promise of freedom. And in the end, that meant to be here in America, to be Americans. We are Americans. And I feel we should be treated as Americans. No one told the soldiers that if they got here, that they would have to take a test to be treated as an American. You see, we are fighting to have opportunity as all Americans do. We are fighting for equal opportunity. Every day of my life has been that way to work for our community, to continue to fight for opportunity. And as we are looking for opportunity, we are treated, we are asking to be treated with the same respect as every single American. That if we make a mistake, that we are disciplined and punished like an American. There are processes and procedures for that. And our folks that are on this deportation list have been through that process, have been rehabilitated through the American judicial system. And that is fair. But now to tack on the punishment of being deported to a land they do not know, to eat, to sleep in a place they do not understand, a place that their parents spoke of that they feared for their life. Now you are putting that back into our community. That is wrong. This soldier that is up here, saving another American soldier, if you told him his child could be deported, he would drop him. We are we, as a community, have fought to be here. We will continue to fight to make America the greatest place on the planet. This is not about politics. This is not about Democrat or Republican. This is about humanity. And we are asking for equal opportunity at every opportunity, at every chance that we have here. So I am calling on all our representatives like these people before. Stand up. We have watched Betty McCollum, our Congressional Betty McCollum, stand up. We have watched Governor of Wisconsin, Governor of Minnesota stand up. Madison, Wisconsin has put forth a uh, resolution to protect the Hmong folks that live there. And so we are asking our president. <laughs> Kutau 